As of May 1st, 2022, there are 51 volcanoes actively erupting on the planet. One of these erupting volcanoes is Kilauea in Hawaii, which has been near continuously erupting since 1983. Much of this eruptive activity has occurred within its central caldera where small lava fountains and minor lava fusion are almost always ongoing. With this being said, here are this week's major volcano-related news stories. In the Portuguese Azores, the island of São Jorge is once again displaying signs of recent volcanic uplift, suggesting that magma might once again be on the move. Meanwhile, in Indonesia, the Batu Terra volcano produced a sudden and unexpected eruption representing its second eruptive episode of 2022. And, west of Jakarta, the Krakatoa volcano produced a large paroxysm that is a short yet violent burst of activity. This eruptive episode ejected numerous bombs of lava, representing the island's largest eruption since April of 2020. This latest eruptive phase began on April 17th, which at first was not very notable as it only created a small plume of ash and ejected new molten rock at a low rate. Then, on April 22nd at 5pm local time, the data on the RSAM instrument which measures overall seismic activity suddenly spiked. This correlated to a sudden and dramatic increase in volcanic activity at Krakatoa's central vent, leading to a series of phreatic explosions due to the interaction of groundwater with shallow magma. Soon after, dramatic lava fountaining began sending a near-continuous column of lava and ash several hundred meters into the air. This material eventually fell back to the ground, creating a series of lava flows which moved down Krakatoa's slopes. By noon of April 23rd, one of these lava flows had reached the western portion of the overall island, constructing a large new lava delta out of basaltic andesite at the site of the volcano's summit collapse in 2018. When eruptive activity ceased on April 25th, the Anak Krakatoa Island now had a brand new 120 meter tall cinder cone, which beforehand was merely the site of a vent just above sea level. Despite speculation suggesting otherwise, there is currently not a high danger of another volcanic collapse caused tsunami. There simply is not an oversteepened edifice which is likely to collapse at this time. As for the spectacular rate of rapid lava effusion witnessed, it suggests that more similar episodes of activity might occur in the next several years. The overall island of Krakatoa is quickly regrowing after its latest collapse. In the Azores, the volcano on the island of São Jorge has been continuing to show signs of unrest through a series of earthquake swarms. These earthquake swarms have been ongoing since March 19th of 2022, and since then more than 30,000 earthquakes have occurred, largely in two clusters centered north and northwest of the island's airport. After two days of seismic activity, significant uplift is detected, indicating the movement of magma at depth. However, over time the number of daily earthquakes above magnitude 2 dropped from 128 on March 20th to 36 on March 27th, and then 7 on April 3rd. New uplift was subsequently not detected between April 8th and April 20th, reflecting that magma was likely solidifying at depth. Since then, however, the number of earthquakes has remained relatively constant, and magmatic uplift was once again detected. Although the rate of earthquakes is still quite low, the implication is that a small section of the original batch of magma is once again rising through the crust. However, due to the lack of shallow earthquakes, an imminent eruption still appears unlikely. On April 26th, a group of fishermen were passing by the uninhabited island of Batu Tara. Suddenly, a boom was heard and a plume of ash rose into the atmosphere. Although the details of this report are difficult to corroborate, it appears that a small phreatic eruption occurred at this island volcano. This marks the first eruption at this volcano since January 31st of 2022. More small eruptions are likely in the next several weeks to months as there is clearly some shallow magma present. Here is a quick list of every volcano which is currently erupting. Also, here are some volcanoes showing signs of unrest which are not erupting but could erupt in the near future. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron Terry Smith for supporting this channel.